All right, I'm going to try to do a quick video about how to graph rose curves. Um, so hopefully this works out the way I'm doing it. Ignore the instructions up here. I just wanted to make these nice little polar uh, coordinate graphs. So let's first look at what does our equation tell us. It tells us that the length of each of the petals is 3. It tells us that there are 3 petals. It also tells us, because it's sine and there's an odd number of petals, that we have symmetry across the y-axis. So there's two different ways that this could end up being then. Either I have a petal up here on the y-axis, or I have a petal that's down here on the y-axis. And depending on which of those situations I have, then the other two petals will fall into place. So our key uh, point here is really pi over 2 because at pi over 2, either I'm going to have a petal of length 3 or I'm going to have a petal of negative 3, which tells me to put it down here at the bottom of the y-axis. So take that and plug it in. Pi over 2, I mean. If I have y equals 3 sine 3, and then I make theta be pi over 2, then that gives me y equals 3 sine of 3 pi over 2. I can look on my unit circle at where what the y value is at 3 pi over 2, and I would find that that's negative 1. So 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So at the angle pi over 2, I'm at negative 3, which means that my petal goes down here, my first petal. And then from there, if I have two more petals that have to be somewhere up here and have to have y-axis symmetry, that means one's going to be in this general area and one is going to be in this general area. And, you know, our graphs don't have to be perfect. I just need the gist of, hey, there's three petals, link three, y-axis symmetry, and that they're in the gist of the right spot. So let's look at a cosine curve with odd petals. This one I have a length of two. I have five petals. And I have x-axis symmetry. So this time I need to figure out is my first petal that I'm going to draw going to be here on the x-axis or over here on the x-axis? So let's plug in this angle right here on the x-axis, which is 0. So 2 cosine 5 times 0. That's 2 cosine of 0. If I look at 0 on the unit circle, I get 1. So 2 times 1 is 2. So that means that my first petal is over here. Okay, and now I need four more petals uh, that have x-axis symmetry. So this is going to look kind of like a starfish. Again, you don't have to be perfect on drawing this, but that's just kind of an idea of approximately what it looks like. Let's look on the calculator at what those look like real quick. So 3 sine 3 theta was the first one. Uh, please ignore the phone ringing. Michael, your phone's ringing. If I look at the first one, that's what the first one looks like. If I look at the second one, this is what the second one looks like. I did not change it to cosine, so that's why that did not look like what we had. Okay, so see, we got it right without our calculator. All right, let's look. Uh, I'm gonna let's look at the next one. If I have an even number of petals, okay. So two sine two theta. This is where symmetry doesn't really matter as much because it has all symmetry. If there are an even number of petals, this means there's four petals because even is double. Still a length of two. And so this time, what I'm trying to figure out is: are my petals on the axes like this? Or are they halfway in between, like, like that? Okay, well, let's plug in a, a point. Um, either if I plug in 0, okay, if I plug in 0 for an angle, then that means I could get, I, it would tell me that it's on this. Or if I plug in pi over 4, it'll tell me if it's on this. So let's see which one of those works out. If I plug in 0, 2 sine 2 0, or 2 times 0 gives me 2 sine of 0. Sine of 0 is 0, 
which gives me 0. That's not helpful. Um, so let's try pi over 4. Okay, 2 times pi over 4 is pi over 2. Sine at pi over 2 is 1. Yeah, it's totally 1. So that means 2 times 1 is 2. So when we plugged in pi over 4, which is this angle right here, we got 2, so that means I have a pedal here. And that lets me fill in my other three pedals because I have to have symmetry across the y-axis, the x-axis, and the origin. So it looks kind of like an x. Let's look at cosine real quick. Now this one has twice as many pedals as this. So this is eight pedals, length three. So uh, again, either I've got pedals that are on the axis, so like a pedal on each axis and then one in between, or all of my pedals could not be on the axis. So let's plug in zero and see what happens, and then we'll have to go from there. Okay, if I plug in for cosine uh, four times zero, that's cosine of zero. Cosine of zero, if I look at the unit circle is one, three times one gives me three. So yeah, we will have a pedal right here on my axis. Well, that means I'm gonna have one on this side as well. I'm gonna have one down here. I'm gonna have one down here, I mean up here. And then I have one in between on each of these. Like so. And then we can graph on our calculator and check to see if we were right. The first one was 2 sine 2 theta. See, they're not on the axes. If it was if it was cosine, it would be. So if all I do is change this to cosine, see how it would be? And then if I graph the actual one we did next, which was uh, 3 cosine 4 theta. Okay, we have them on the axes and then also in between the axes. So there you have it.